Hey everybody, Jake here from Steelbook Obsessed and I have some very cool items to show you in this video today. I've been lucky enough to actually have a partnership with Umbrella Entertainment. I love their releases so much. I have a few down there in my Vinegar Syndrome section. Their OCN label is now partnering with Umbrella and I have their newest lineup, Kids and Razorback. And they're, I don't know which one I like more. I know which one I would watch first because it's Razorback, I've never seen it. Kids I have seen and I absolutely love. But without further ado, let me show you the greatness of this month's releases. Here we go. Look at that. No, that is not a physical movie release. That is a t-shirt for Razorback, baby. That's right, Razorback and Kids are this month's releases. Cannot wait to unbox all these suckers for you. I think just because there's so much here, there's a thing right there I'll show off later. Let's get into Razorback. So this set is officially called Dangerous or Dead, the big collector's edition. And by big, they mean big. Look how beefy this set is. Oh my God. Probably the biggest box set for a single release I have. This thing is crazy. We flip it around to the back. Here is all the goodies that are inside. Cannot wait to show you all of them, but let's take this sucker off to show that there is more artwork to be had on the back. I I love this thing. I have not seen Razorback. It's an Australian company, so it makes a lot of sense for them to come out with one of their first 4Ks for an Australian movie. Let's start pulling this stuff out. First and foremost, we have to start with the movie. And this slipcover for Razorback, dear Lord, that artwork is amazing. You can see the glossiness on the Razorback title itself. Flip it over. Have a nice haunting image on the back of a house on fire. Huh, wonder why that happens. On the case itself, we have yet another different version of the artwork here. And I love every single bit of art I see on here. Here's a better shot of the back. And I'm going to zoom in to show you the special features. As you can see, they can barely fit all of them onto that red banner. That is crazy. Uh, the thing that pops out to me is Razorback, the VHS cut. The original uncut 4.3 Australian home video version. That is very, very cool. Cannot wait to check this sucker out. I've honestly, I, I live in the U.S. I have not heard a thing about Razorback. But for this release to have a set this juicy, I cannot wait to dig into this movie. There's even more artwork to be had on the discs. And look at this middle 4K disc. It, I've never seen a clear one of these. I'm in love with it. Look at the disc artwork on the 4K too, my goodness, and it comes with a poster? Ever since I was fortunate enough to get that Terrifier This Is Art box set from Umbrella, I have stated that they come out with the best physical media releases for any boutique label, and I am not joking. This poster artwork is great. Again, there's a landscape and a horizontal. Landscape, vertical, vertical, horizontal, I'll go that way. This artwork is amazing. I pulled the art card out just to make sure that there was no reversible artwork. There isn't, but it gives you the option to take off that moderate horror violence, so I am definitely going to do that. I like that nice added touch to take that off there. So for me, this would have been enough for this movie. Every ounce of this packaging has been amazing. But this giant collector's edition also came with art cards. I will show these off one by one. Again, this is my first time actually looking at any images from this movie. And I gotta say, I'm getting pretty excited to pop this sucker in. Cannot wait to see what the 4K transfer looks like. I'm hoping I can show all the artwork on these cards. It's looking safe. It's looking safe right now. Man, this looks fun. And remember seeing this in the spine of the package of the box? Look at this thing. Razorback, the novel, plus behind the scenes experiences and art. Look how thick this sucker is. This is the nicest book I've ever seen come with a physical movie release. And we're talking the novel has 461 pages in it. There's 385. Keep on going. On the very back, it actually has the art cards and whatnot. This is insane to be included in a physical media release. I I have no words. So everything is now put back into this amazing box set. Now let's take a look at the t-shirt because not only is the artwork amazing on the front, 
It also has a pretty amazing backside that's just very reminiscent of the old 80s style of advertising. I, I love this. Maybe even better than the front. It's a great one-two punch of a t-shirt. But the cherry on top of this amazing release has to be the action figure of the Razorback. How cool is that? I love the packaging on this thing. There's something about blasting the shit out of a Razorback that brightens up my whole day. 900 pounds of marauding tusk and muscle. I don't know. There's, there's something about, again, this classic packaging for a toy that just makes me so giddy inside. Well, that was everything that Razorback had to offer. Now we go on to kids, a Larry Clark movie. I saw this for the first time last month. And let me tell you, folks, you think euphoria is all the rage and how crazy kids are these days? Kids were crazy in the 90s, too. OK, <laughs> just kids are crazy at all times. Here is a shot of the slip cover, and again, that glossiness is coming back with a vengeance. Umbrella has some great gloss in their releases, even the spine. Yeah, look at that. Even the spine has gloss. Absolutely love it, and I, I love the watercolor aesthetic that they're going with in this entire release. Here is what the front cover looks like. And yes, we have some Chloe Sevigny. We have some Rosario Dawson. There are some heavy hitters in this indie release. And I cannot wait to see this documentary. We were once kids. I've heard it's absolutely phenomenal. The movie was great. If it's anywhere near where the movie was in its greatness, I can't wait to check it out. Loving the artwork that they put on their disc. I think that's a highly underrated feature in any release. If you have great disc artwork, it goes a long way for me. And as you can see, this one has a poster as well. That has the original poster artwork on one side and on the other, a very nice one shot from the film. Here's a shot of the 48 page booklet, a collection of behind the scenes commentary and art from the film. I'll flip through a couple pages for you. Very, very cool stuff here. Got some trivia, got some essays, love to see it. And also included in this release, this is cooler than all get out. It's an original 35 millimeter frame from the film. You see here, this is like the meetup for the first time from the whole gang at the park, the skate park. That is so cool. Uh, this is actually a magnet that comes off and the actual film strip is right here. One of my first jobs in college was working at a movie theater. So I have a lot of memories threading this sucker into a projector. Very, very cool. I, I like this. I like this piece of collectible a lot. Well, there you have it, folks. Those are both of the new releases from Umbrella Entertainment for this month. As you can see, I have added the Umbrella line into my OCN Direct from Vinegar Syndrome because they're the newest partner label. So I'm gonna put the umbrella label releases over here as well. There's kids. Here is this beefy Razorback. I kinda wanna, I kinda wanna flip these around. I like the way that one looks. I think I like the way all of the stuff in this one looks better. But is that gonna mess with my OCD? I don't think so. I think I, think I prefer that. Thank you, Umbrella, for sending these to me. First and foremost, it's amazing that this is even happening. I enjoy it quite a bit. I left this sucker out because I think I'm going to put it right by the movie. I love adding flair to my collection. That just helps the umbrella stuff stand out that much more. If you want to see any more of these in a long form unboxing on my YouTube channel, let me know. I would be glad to do it. So uh, I'm in different clothes. I was editing that video and then I remembered something that I usually don't share with you guys. I have a discount code, an umbrella. Use code STEEL15 if you want to save 15% off your first order. Highly recommend buying from them. I don't know if you just saw this, but today, I'll try to post this video today, there was a collector's edition of Talk To Me. I'll make a short for that, so make sure to look at my YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Uh, this thing looks great. This thing looks crazy. It comes with a replica hand from Talk To Me, which is amazing. It's a steel book. It's a 4K steel book. It was an Australian made movie, so it makes sense that the best company out of Australia 
making physical media releases is coming out with this as well. I want to say they helped produce it in Australia as well. Keep an eye out for that. Steel 15, if you're interested in any of the umbrella stuff that I showed off today. Okay, see you next time. Bye, guys.